Start from Chris. Because uh, her mom's gonna prove where she got that talent from now. Jane, are you ready for your song? Huh? Later? No, now. Come on now. Come on now. later. We're finishing up on the We got about an hour left. Huh? Later? Okay. Later. All right, I'm just gonna sing now, guys. Uh, let's, uh, I'm Kawawa Cowboy. Okay, Vince's gonna sing later, apparently. So, um, so, sing after. Sing when we're all gone. Okay. Jesse's gonna do his He didn't know what to do, so I'll fill in. So, I've known Chris for about nine years now, and he's a good friend, he's loyal. He's been a good, faithful friend to our family the whole time through. But, Chris, I'd just like to say thank you because you've been um, also a role model, and to many of us, um, like how I look at you with you and Hannah and Bing. Chris really does put his family first, as there's many times that I don't. Um, but Chris does. He always does. The family's first. He picks drops off Hannah, picks up Hannah, he's there for her AFL, he's there for, for everything. If he goes to Melbourne for work, the family's going with him. And it really is, it's inspiring because it's, it's the way it should be. So, he's, Chris is also funny because he's um, very, very focused on golf. Very focused. So over the years we've had many conversations and I'll say, Chris, how about you look at something else? But he never will. <laughs> he's very focused on it, and he's very loyal to it. And same is with his family and his friends. You're a good, good man, Chris. And we're, we're and... lucky to have you as a friend. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Jess. mate. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. That's good, Jesse. Nice, short, and sweet. There you go. Al. Are you ready uh, t for your uh, speech? Where's Al? Is he Al there? Yeah. I need new glasses, so... Just make it short and sweet, Al. Because <laughs> we want to dance. <laughs> Here we go. Al is a... Uh, Chris Connect Group leader. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Where is Chris? Yeah. Might. I'll just do it um, quickly. But anyway, Chris, um, it's your night tonight, Might, and uh, you deserve all the honor tonight. And um, gee, the time flies. I like. I thought we've only known each other for five, six years, but it was been. <laughs> 10 years, you know. You know, when I remember when uh, Chris um, uh, started attending our connect group, he was, that's what everyone says, he's a bit quiet. And, um, uh, you know, I didn't really get much out of him, but over the years, uh, just through connect and do things and try to get a conversation out of him. And that's what I said um, earlier. Um, you're a great guy, I'm really proud of you, Chris, and what you have achieved um, so far. And I truly believe, um, might that um, your dream of playing for the seniors, the best years are still ahead of you, mate. And, you know, I really adore your um, commitment to your family. It's, it's a good thing. It's a, it's a very rare, you know, um, uh, a quality. And, and, you're very, um, should I say, focused on what you do. And, and what I could see you, Chris, is you're an entrepreneur. You're, you have a talent in entrepreneurship. That's what I could see from you. And, and I've just really blessed you that the best years are still ahead of you, mate. And you have the quality to take it to that level. And should I say, it's only that character that takes you to that level not your skill, not your educational background, and you have that in you already. Just a matter of catapulting you in that level. 
and I truly believe that in you. You're a very diligent guy, and you have what it takes uh, for your dreams to come true. And we love you, Chris. Happy birthday, mate. And enjoy. <laughs> May the best years are still ahead of you. Thanks, Al. All right. Um, is there anyone else that wants to uh, honor Chris? Yes, please. Thank you. Doug. Doug's go. Um, I think he's uh, one of uh, Chris's uh, gold buddy. All right. Um, I'll introduce Doug. Uh, Doug. Sorry, I've got my mum on the on the other end here. <laughs> um, well, due to COVID, we have no um, no um, family up here from Melbourne because my whole family is down there. So we just have to have another 50 down there. <laughs> um, Doug, Doug's the only real family from down there, and Doug and I started we started our traineeship together in Box Hill Golf Club. In 1992, yeah, one? Two, one yeah. or two. Anyway, so that's where we met. Doug and Ann moved up here. We've been friends ever since. So he's a real family member. <laughs> anyway, how are you going, Doug? Okay, I'm going to keep it uh, short and sweet. Um, as Chris said, we both worked at Box Hill Golf Club doing our um, professional golfers traineeship. And uh, what you might not know is that it involved doing 40 hours a week in the pro shop, having one day off apart from Mondays, which was a tournament day. And we had to reach some pretty high standards in our golf at all the different courses around Melbourne and even outside of regional Victoria. And um, so it was quite difficult only, I think, out of the 27 guys who, who did that, only nine passed in three years, and Chris was one of those. I had to take an extra year. I had a bad injury, but I might have needed the extra year anyway. Um, but I remember one trip we took up to Newcastle Golf Club. We both qualified for the Australian Trainee Championships. And it's actually lucky that Chris is still here because a bloke called Andrew Bonhomme was trying to hit drivers up the practice fairway. We had to pick up our own balls. Chris was about 150 metres away from this guy and he hit a driver, which is a full-blooded shot about that high off the ground and hit Chris right in the back and dropped him to the ground and it was... It was um, it hit, hit me in the elbow, actually. In the elbow. Oh, well, it was so close to, like, I don't know. Anyway... Um, Chris is still here and he's had a great career and a beautiful family and um, you know we shared a little, I remember one day we we left, we didn't lock the pro shop up when we left one day and we nearly both got the sack, that, was, that was, wasn't too good. Um, and while we are at Box Hill Golf Club, they were rebuilding the clubhouse, we had to go down to a temporary pro shop in this uh, dairy down the back of the golf course, it was so cold in the mornings in winter down there. So Chris and I both uh, are very happy we moved to Queensland. And um, I'd just like to thank Chris for his friendship for all that time. Thank you. Thanks, Doug. Doug. Thanks, buddy. In the elbows. Thanks, Doug. Um, I think there's also uh, Tom who wants to say something uh, to honour Chris tonight. Uh, Tom, I think, is uh, Chris's boss at the... Uh, is that a Meadowbrook? Yeah, Meadowbrook Golf Club. Be nice, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold back. <clears throat> I, um, I had the fortune to uh, have Chris come and start working in my organisation down at uh, Emerald Lakes Golf Club some 10 years ago. And Chris joined our team down there. And we met Bing and Hannah. Um, and Chris was, is a great coach and in particular uh, has a wonderful touch with junior golfers and I, when, <coughs> when I moved back up to Meadowbrook to our golf course there uh, Chris for some strange reason decided to live in the area 
<laughs> and uh, has joined us up there in Meadowbrook and has been running our junior program now for three years. And we've gone from basically zero kids to something like 150 kids in the program now. It's, it's wonderful. So I uh, feel very fortunate that Chris and Bing and, uh, are part of our, our group and we uh, look forward to taking them with us on our journey at Meadowbrook, which is going very far and very fast. So thanks, Chris, for everything you've done. Yeah, thanks, Tom. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> well, not bad, not bad. <laughs> I'm going to take course. Uh, he's good at juniors. Is he good with seniors? <laughs> Seniors with the limp back. <laughs> All right, now um, we're gonna ask. Uh, I think uh, anyone else want to say something? We have we have one more probably. If you... Oh, here we go, David. David is a uh, student of Chris, so he can vouch for him if he's good with seniors. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, I can guarantee you. He's not that good. <laughs> when I met Chris, I was playing off 23. So after a large amount of money that I've lied to my wife about, <laughs> I'm now paying off 25. <laughs> but I must say that he has patience, he has perseverance, He's a, he has a lovely daughter that can sing really well and play AFL and is known to beat the Morningside Panthers on occasion. But uh, yeah, look, Chris is one of life's true gentlemen and I think it's a testament to you to see your friends and the people around you here tonight. And I feel very privileged to be invited as a student of yours, an older student I might say, and I'm playing at Redcliffe tomorrow and if I don't win, I want my money back. <laughs> I but, want uh, period. <laughs> but it reminds me of a lovely story about you know the, the two old blokes who go out playing golf every Sunday morning. And they're about to hit off the third tee, which is along, alongside the road. And a funeral procession comes along. <laughs> and it just demonstrates the commitment to golf when one of the blokes takes off his hat, puts his driver down. And uh, the other bike takes his off, puts his down. The funeral procession goes past. It's about, we play golf every Sunday for 45 years. I've never seen to do that before. It's a really respectable thing to do. He said, well, we were married for 45 years. <laughs> so thank you very much, Chris. Love to see you. <laughs> Terrific food. You're a great friend. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, David. Just keep playing basketball. It's <laughs> cheaper. <laughs> All right. Uh, now um, I I was supposed to honor Chris as well, but I don't. Have, uh, after what's been said here, I don't have a lot to say about Chris. Um, yeah, definitely. I've I've known Chris and Bing for about ten years when they start going to our church at Hillsong, and uh, they got involved with uh, actively with our connect groups in Logan. And lately, in the last year or so, they joined our marriage group, marriage enrichment group that my wife and I run. So I'm starting to get to know a, a, a little bit about Chris now, because uh, he, get, he comes to my place once a month and we can talk about marriage and all about the good stuff. <laughs> and so uh, now I, I start to get to know him and he's a really gentle person. Um, very humble um, and uh, so uh, Chris I think um, there's there's a lot more uh, in life um, uh, 50 is not you know it's not downhill really it's just the start of a, of a new beginning a new life there's still a lot of good stuff ahead of you there so uh, just live life in full man and Enjoy that jet ski, just don't hurt yourself. <laughs> and stay stay within the limits. No. Okay, that's me, so happy birthday, and may your um, 
May you enjoy, may, I hope you're enjoying this night tonight. Thank you very much. We have not said anything bad towards you yet. So. <laughs> now I'm going to call uh, Bing before she gets very busy. He's not going to say, she's just going to say some uh, sweet words. Yeah. I'm so tall. <laughs> um, and she's and she's got high heels on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but first of all, thank you, darling, that we made it today on your birthday. But first of all, I would like to thank the Lord that we're able to prepare and uh, able to finance everything with this. Because you know, last year. Me and Hannah thinking, how are we going to uh, supply everything this month? I said to her, we will. The Lord will provide. And it's so really surprising. The Lord really blessed us and provide everything that I don't need to work. And um, I know it's tired, but it's worth it. Because it's worth it to prepare. Because he's really a loving husband and a loving father. Yes, he's doing everything for us, even though he's so tired the whole week yes. working. He's very tired, but he said, okay, darling, we're going out, even though he's tired. <laughs> so I'm so blessed, and my family is so blessed having him. And I'm so thankful to the Lord that he is so blessing for us, for my family, for all our friends. He's so dedicated in everything that he do, to all his passion that he do. Goal, family, friends, church family. He's really there, very dedicated. He's there all the time to lift me up. And Hannah, friends, oh, name it. He's a good person. I'm so blessed God gave me Chris into our lives. Yeah. And I would like to thank as well our family church that you are here, all our friends coming over to join us. Thank you very much. And I would like to thank everyone who helped us, like Juvi bringing food, and Jocelyn, and my whole family church, Koya Ben, and Lisa, and Al, and Alan, uh, Al and Anne, Sheila, and Alan, and of course, Pavel, who was there all the time doing and helping me like crazy. And as well, Mervyn is here helping as well. And of course, our Angel, Angel and, and AJ. AJ, AJ is very shy. And as well, uh, I would like to thank Hannah as well, my daughter. Yeah. She was there also helping like crazy, even though it's so hot. He, he was also not sleeping enough last, last night, but he said, oh, mommy, it's worth it to celebrate dad's birthday because he never yes. really, she, she's not a person, he's not a person like celebrating that's this, uh, this, the same big party. So I would like him to experience it as well. So, darling, you look great. Look at you. <laughs> so, to everyone, to all our friends, Doug and Anne, everyone is here, Tom and Susie, oh, uh, everyone here, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. <laughs> and, Jesse as well for coming. Thank you. And Jocelyn. And no, no, no. One more, one more. One more. Jojo for doing the pictures for us. <laughs> and Alan as well for helping me with the buffet as well there. And for the band, Eliza.